in the other pins to simply insert the connecting the encoder is actually very easy points tx0 and rx1 so before you start watching this video i want you to watch this video particularly for the aston martin build because in this build i have shown you how to build the custom hub for the trustmaster t150 pro so this video is not a full build of how i made this hub this is actually an upgrade for the wireless version of the ferrari f1000 steering wheel the link will be down in the description below so now comes the most easiest part of all just kidding this is the most difficult part in the whole case so if you have any prior knowledge of soldering or electronics then you're welcome now in case if you do not have any knowledge of arduino or any knowledge of electronic component assembly then please watch this video first and then continue to build the whole process now here comes the arduino board over here you can see the encoder pin at the encoder has three ground pin one on the right and two on the left all are common you can use any ground for the whole purpose for the whole build so there are three grounds from one ground you have to pick out five wires five green wires uh, if you use color coded wires that will be more easy for you because the green is basically the symbol of ground so it's convenient to use green as a common symbol for ground so i've used five encoders in this whole process if you turn right there will be one signal if you turn left there will be one signal and if you want you can also use the two buttons present in the encoder so if you click the encoder that will also be counted as a button connecting the encoder is actually very easy you see one points tx0 and rx1 tx0 goes to the first point in the encoder and rx1 goes to the last point in the encoder and as we all have said before green is the common ground for all the encoders as far as the buttons are concerned i am using a 16 button configuration out of which four button will be used for the gear shifter for the gear shifter i'll be using a limit switch so after that only 12 buttons are left out of those 12 buttons i'll be using 10 buttons for different functions like kers activation kers deactivation ers mode and anything else that comes in my mind and also my encoder has a separate option for connecting two buttons apart from the rotary function so i'll connect the remaining two buttons in any of the two encoders whichever is suitable for me and also for my build process from each point i have taken out four wires point like from a3 i have i took one wire two wire three wire and four wire from from single point and again i did the same thing but again here in this case i have used different colored wires to make sure that i don't get confused from which wires which if you are trying to replicate my design then you are welcome and do let me know how you did it I think it will depends on you how you actually build your sim racing system or sim racing setup so if it's a single steering wheel you don't have to replace you cannot replace the wheel it's a one piece wheel then you uh, this is a3 this you took out one wire from a3 and you took one wire from 15 and if you join these two wire if you short this if you have a metallic tweezer and you 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 use a glove and then you short these two points and then you see on the uh, and if you go to your start if you go to joy.cpl you first upload the code and if the controller is over here uh, open the property of the controller and if you short these two points a3 and a15 then you will see there's there will be one blink it means connection is made it means that that will be act, that will act as a button so here what, what i've shown here is here is that this is the matrix this is the button matrix so a315 will be one, be one button a314 will be the uh, second button a316 will be the third button it can be any any configuration it doesn't have to be like this will be the first this will be the second it can be anything uh, this is not fixed actually so this is so according to that so if you connect all these so from a3 you will get four buttons one two three four from a2 you will get again four buttons from a1 you will get again four buttons 15 14 16 10 and again from a10 you will get four button four more buttons it's not possible to show you each and every button because my screen is limited if i draw every, each and every line then again it will become confusing so just to make you simply understand the basic of this code and the basic of arduino this is what i came up with first of all cut the wires using a wire stripper and try to shoulder the wires then try shouldering the wires onto the arduino board like the way i'm showing here if you have prior experience of shouldering you can do it pretty easily this is the four gear shifter which i'm using these are four limit switch if solder is not sticking properly try using some flux flux is basically an acid 
which actually cleans the surface of the metal, resulting in faster joining time and bright solder. So I've completed my wiring process, now it's time to fix the Arduino onto the board. Here I'm using some hot glue gun, you can also use any other glue, but make sure to particularly use the hot glue gun because if you want you can also take that out if you want to remove the Arduino. Now comes the encoder. Here I am first connecting the ground with the green color wire. Now I am connecting the other pins, the blue one to the right side. It doesn't matter whichever wire you want to connect. Just make sure that the green one stays in the center and the blue and the white one can be either in the right or in the left. Same thing goes for the gear shifter. I will use 4 buttons for the gear shifter. I will just randomly connect any of the 4 buttons for the gear shifting. In most of the steering wheels, whether it is Formula 1 or GT3, all the buttons usually stays on top side of the steering wheel. So I will carefully pull out all the wire from the bottom side so that all the buttons actually stay in on the top of the steering wheel. And 3 encoders will come out from the bottom side and 2 encoders will come out from the front side, which is the center part of the wheel. By the way, this build is completely not a new build. This is an upgrade from my previous build from the Aston Martin which I built long time ago, like a year ago. So if you haven't watched this video, you can click on the i button above so that you can get how I made the whole steering wheel along with this steering wheel hub which I am building right now. So you will need this hub to make the whole process come true. The only difference between the Aston Martin build and the Ferrari build is that number of buttons and also the gear shifter was changed from tactile push button to a limit switch. Now you can buy a coil USB cable but you can also make a coil USB cable at home. There are lots of YouTube videos on how to do it. So I'm pretty sure you are smart enough to do it on your own, like I did. So the data camel is connected. That's done. Now it's time to cover the front part. So remember guys, this is a push button only, not a push and lock button. This was actually push and lock button, I actually modified it to use it as a push button only. So now I'm placing the buttons and then I will connect the nuts from the other side. It is always convenient to use a power tool to make things work out fast. So I will not completely shoulder the wires to the buttons. I will actually use a clip which will actually be a push pull. You can, If you want you can change the steering wheel, you can actually pull that uh, plug and the button will come off. The button has to actually get fixed with the screw. For here I am using a shrink tube and then I will shoulder the plug. Shouldering is done. Now I will use a lighter to shrink the shrink tube. You can also use a heat gun if you want. So this is what the plug looks like which will actually go into the button. Now it's time for the encoders to fit in the board.
So as you can see there are two cut portions over here. One on the right is for the main steering wheel wire and one on the left is for the Arduino wire. So this is my original steering wheel for the Thrustmaster T150 Pro. And this is the main wire. The main wire should be connected or else the steering wheel will not be detected. And this is the housing for the steering wheel. It's very simple. All you have to do is simply insert the plug through the hole and gently pull it from the other side. Now press the steering wheel firmly, enough pressure so that the, both the holes align together. And for the last part, we have to tie the steering wheel. You can either use a zip tie or a wire cable. Now cover the steering wheel back to its original position and make sure the two wires pass through two of these holes. This is the Arduino wire that will go through the left hole and the right hole is already aligned to the main steering wheel wire. That's all. Now all you have to do is screw back the steering wheel. And lastly, affix the screw right in the center of the cover. So this is the Arduino website from where we will download the Arduino software. It is the version 2.0.4 which is the latest version from April 2022. And on the right hand side you can see one option for download options. Uh, you can see windows, click on that windows and select just download. It will take some time to download. So as I have already downloaded, I will cancel this download and I will click on the one which I have already downloaded. After clicking, you will see one icon, click on I agree. After clicking, click on OK only for me, then click on next. Then select the destination location and then install the software. So after you install the software, select Run Arduino IDE and click on Finish. The software will automatically run on a system right now. Please wait a while while the system loads the software. If you get any firewall message like this, click on Cancel. If it appears again, again click on Cancel. If it asks to install Adafruit drivers, then click on Install and then again click on install. Similarly repeat the following process and again click on install. Click on yes and that's all. All your drivers are installed. All your libraries are also installed including the joystick and keypad.h. But remember if you upload the code keypad.h might give you an error which is totally fine and all the buttons and encoders also works perfectly. So after you have plugged in your Arduino, it's time to enter the code. So on the description below, you will get the code. So click on the link below and you will get the code. So here is the main in code for Arduino. So on here, you see there is a selection for Arduino Leonardo. It will be already selected if there are more than one Arduinos connected. Then it will show here. You have to select the desired board you want to enter. So here you go to tools, select the board and Arduino Leonardo. It's not a problem if there is only one board connected but if there are multiple boards connected, make sure to select the one which you need. And on the COM, select COM3. So if there are multiple boards, you need to first memorize the COM in which you have to select the COM here. Everything is set. All you have to do is simply 
press the arrow button over here which means upload click on upload the whole code will be uploaded and if you get an error like this just don't worry about the error so it's already been done so now go to your start and type in joy.cpl you will see Arduino Leonardo here click on properties and you can see there are a lot of buttons over here so we will just test the buttons one by one so there we have it the wireless wheel for the Trustmaster T150 Pro is ready Thank you.